Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make a better Minecraft server. And we're going to be using the 1.17.1 version of Better Minecraft in this video. Now one thing I will say, I'm already assuming that you have Better Minecraft installed via the Curse Forge launcher. If you don't, well then guess what? We have a video at the, at the top of your screen as well as in the description down below on how to do that. You will need Better Minecraft 1.17.1 installed through the Curse Forge launcher in order to be able to play on your server once it is started. Also worth noting that video of how to do that, how to get Better Minecraft is also going to be important for your friends because they will also need better Minecraft installed in order to join this server. Speaking of, this is only meant for your friends and on top of that, you're going to need a pretty decent PC. It's only meant for your friends because it's hosted on your public network and that means anyone with the IP can do things like DDoS you as well as figure out where, where you lived under your latitude and longitude coordinates. So it's pretty important you don't give out this IP to anybody and everybody online. On top of that, modded Minecraft servers use a lot of CPU and RAM. So you're going to need a modern CPU, very modern. I'm talking like a modern i7, 900 series or newer, and at least probably six to eight gigabytes of RAM to dedicate just to this server. Modern Minecraft servers are very, very resource intensive, like I said, so just keep that in mind. You're also going to need to be able to have a computer to be able to run the server and play Minecraft at the same time. So if that's not you and you still want a server, right, you still want to be able to host a better Minecraft server, but one, you don't have the computer resources, or two, you want to have a public server, or three, you just want to have, you know, not have to worry about the management of the server, you just want to kind of get on and play, well, in that case, Apex Minecraft hosting is a solution for you. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz to the last Apex to start your very own better Minecraft server in under five minutes and just a few clicks. We actually love this Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them, and they are the easiest way to host a Minecraft server whether it's modded or not, but they do have better Minecraft set up for one click installation. Yep, you just click it once and it is installed. It is that quick, that simple, and that easy. You will have your modded Minecraft server up in five minutes and this video here is probably over 20 minutes long. So as you can see, it is much, much easier to do that on Apex Minecraft hosting than it is to host one yourself using this method. Again, you can get Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to set up better Minecraft on your server in just a few minutes. And you can have it a public server or a private server. That choice is up for you. Apex is set up to do either. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Get our better Minecraft server set up if you don't want to host it through Apex Minecraft Hosting. To do that, you want to come to this page. This is going to be the second link in the description down below. The how to install better Minecraft, you know, for single player and how to get the mods installed into Minecraft. That's going to be towards the bottom of the description. All the stuff to the front of the description is going to be about, you know, actually getting this server set up. So we want to go to the second link down below and that will take you here. Once you are here, you want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.17 or whatever version of, you know, the better Minecraft mod pack you're installing, server packs. You're looking for Minecraft server packs. You then want to find the one that has the green R next to it, R meaning release, meaning it's the most stable version, and then click the orange download button to the right of that. That will then go ahead and start the download after a few seconds. Now, you may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. I don't though, it just downloads right away. However, on Mozilla Firefox, mileage may vary and you may need to download, you know, better Minecraft there and actually save the file when doing so. So now if we go ahead and minimize our browser, as you can see, I do have Better Minecraft already installed in Curse Forge, as I said, you need to have as well. And nevertheless, we can go ahead and find the file we download. Now, if to do that, you're gonna hit the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. And when you click on that, you're gonna type in Downloads. You find this Downloads file folder, and in here, you'll find Better Minecraft Server Pack. It should have Server Pack in the title. If it doesn't, you didn't download the right file, so go back and make sure you re-download the right file. Now, once we're here, we're gonna go ahead and right-click on this. And by the way, if it's a WinRAR file or something like that, it's perfectly okay. Okay, just go ahead and right click on this file and then click extract all. Then go ahead and click extract and it's going to go ahead and, well, extract all of the stuff in this folder and basically create a new folder on your desktop. You can now delete the .zip file we downloaded. Go ahead and now open up this new folder that's on your desktop and in here you'll have another subfolder most likely. Go ahead and move that subfolder to your desktop. If you don't have a subfolder, that's fine because you will then have this, right? So finally, you should open up the folder on your desktop and see these files. Now, as you can see, there is a readme.txt, and while we are gonna be showing you all the 
basics in this video, I do recommend reading over this. As you can see, drag mods, config folders, server.properties into the new folder you made, open the run.bat file. After it says click anybody to continue, do that, except the EULA, launch run.bat again, and you're good to go. It does say I'm trying to run a server, but it's not working. How do I fix this? It says you need to use Java 16, 64 bit to run a mod in, mod in Minecraft server. That's not true in 1.17. If you're running a 1.16.5 server, that is correct. You will need Java 16, and we'll cover that in this video. So there you have it. But as you can see, open the Forge installer is what we're going to do and install the server into a new folder. So that's the first step, right? So what we want to do is go ahead and open this up. Now, there's a few ways to do this. I would recommend doing it with a run.bat file. Now, as it said, we need to open up this Forge installer. So let's go ahead and double click on that and uh, do this. So what you want to do is click on install server here. It's going to give you this red warning. That's correct. Click these three dots here. Then on the left hand side, click on desktop and then select the better Minecraft server Forge 1.17.1 right there. It might be a different version, but it will say better Minecraft server pack. Go ahead and click open there. The red box will still be there, but that's okay. Go ahead and click okay there. And now it's going to install the server basically files for Forge here. It's a bit unique how better Minecraft does this, but it is all above board and makes perfect sense really when you think about it. They're not redistributing Forge doing this, so good on them. I'm going to go ahead and let this install and I'll see you after a quick jump cut. All right, so as you can see, successfully downloaded Minecraft server and installed 1.17.1 Forge. Awesome. Click OK there. And as you can see, we have some new files here. You can, oddly enough, delete this installer if you, if you want to, right? You can actually remove that installer there. So let's go ahead and do that, right? You can delete the Forge installer. Now, what we need to do is double click on the run.bat file. So if we go ahead and double click on that, it's going to go ahead and download even more stuff here in the background and kind of get things up and running and get, well, our forge up and running. Eventually, though, it's going to fail. As that readme said, you need to agree to the ULA. So let's go ahead and press any key to continue. And in here, we have the EULA.txt. Go ahead and open that up. And as long as you agree to the Mojang EULA, you can change EULA equals false to EULA equals true, T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Then you want to go to file, save, right like so. It's going to save the EULA. Close out of this and double click on the run.bat file. And as long as you change EULA equals false to EULA equals true, like we just did, your server will now start up. Overall, this is the easy part of making a Minecraft better or a better Minecraft server, right? Getting the server up to this point is easy. Now I'm going to show you how to test and verify that the server is live. And then I'm going to show you how to port forward to allow your friends to join. At this point, you can join your server, but your friends cannot join your server. So keep that in mind. Once it does say done here, well, it's done, but technically not because it still needs to open up the GUI and activate mods. Once it's finally done with the spawn area is when it's actually finished. It's really weird that Better Minecraft does that, honestly. Uh, not all Forge servers do that, just this one. So as you can see here, we are now done, and it actually is done this time when it says done. And uh, yeah, we have two different GUIs here. Um, I accidentally just closed out of everything by doing that, so one quick moment. <laughs> there we go. Got to get everything back open there, and we need our folder as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and launch up Better Minecraft. You can do that from the Curse Forge launcher. Obviously, we need to go to Better Minecraft here. If you don't have it, you can do that. Search it in the Curse Forge launcher, and then go ahead and download it. We are using the Forge 1.17 one version. That is important that you are downloading the Forge 1.17.1 version for this to work. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click play here and it's going to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. We'll log into that and get better Minecraft up and running. So I'll see you after a quick jump cut once we're in game and can show you how to join this server yourself. Again, at this point, your friends can't join this server, but I would recommend you go test it before you're doing all the port forwarding and everything like that. So here we are. We have Better Minecraft open and we have our server open. We can click on multiplayer. If you get a pop up like this, go ahead and allow access. You're okay there. Then we're going to go ahead and click add a server here. We'll go ahead and add our server, which is just our server for work. Fine there. And then for the server address, this is going to be local host. You're the only person who can join your server that way, but because it's hosted on your local network, local host works as the IP. Click done, and there it is. There is our server. We can join right on into it, and we'll see a pop-up on the left-hand side. There it is, joining in. Now, mod packs are notorious for first time someone joins, it'll kick them out, different things like that, so not saying better Minecraft will do that, but if you get things like that happening, it is normal, but here we are in game in better Minecraft. Looking good, looking good. However, 
What about your friends joining? Well, to do that, we're going to need a port forward, so let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead, disconnect here, and actually quit out of the game entirely, just because uh, we don't need it open right now. So let's go ahead and quit out of the game. Then we want to go ahead and stop the server by typing STOP. Always stop your server over here in the console by typing STOP. When we hit enter, it's going to close out of that console, and it will eventually close out of this one as well. Just give it a minute here, and it should close out of it. I actually think the server stopped, but it didn't give us the option to close out of it, so we can just... I believe, go ahead and X out there. No, it doesn't seem like it wants to do that either. Terminate batch job, yes we do. So if you do get that issue where it says terminate batch job or something, you close out of the server for whatever reason, you can go ahead and quit it using Y there and basically command line. But nonetheless, that's modded servers for you. Get ready for that. That's why Apex is so great. However, we're going to go ahead and port forward. To do this, we need to go ahead and open up a brand new tab. By the way, I... Should have mentioned this earlier, and I do apologize, but if you do have any issues with your server, and you may want to check the comments and help me out here, but um, make sure that you do go ahead and run Java for Minecraft servers. If you have any issues opening up your server, or any issues opening up Forge, or anything like that, you are going to need to download Minecraft servers Java here. Basically, it's Java 16, and it goes through all that in depth. We also have the jar fix, which can help if files aren't working with Java when they should be. It's going to link the files back to Java. Both of these are in the description. Now, though, we need to go ahead and open up a new tab, but I did also get ahead of myself even there because we need some information first the information we need well let's go ahead and open up the command or the windows you know icon here the top left of my screen probably the bottom left of your screen let's type in cmd we then have command prompt here and in command prompt we want to type ip config ip config exactly like that and hit enter Again, that was IP config. That's what we entered in over there in command prompt. Now, in this basically printout it's given us, we want to get two numbers. We want to get our IPv4 address as well as our default gateway. So let's go ahead and grab both of those. Now, our default gateway is down here at the bottom. For me, that's 192.168.1.1. Yours is probably completely different, and that's perfectly fine. For the IPv4 address, mine is 192.168.1.67. Again, yours is most likely completely different, and that's okay. That's why we got it this way, because they are going to be different. When you have most of those numbers, either in notepad like this, or just written down on a piece of paper, whatever works best for you, we want to go back to our browser here. And up here at the top, though, what we want to go ahead and do is type in 192.168.1.1. That will open up a login box. It just opens up a login box very abruptly for us. For you, it may be in a GUI, but you will have some sort of a login. Now, what you want to enter in here is your router's username and password. This is going to be different for every router, but guess what? We have an in-depth guide on how to find it here, and it goes through all of the different methods. By five, everyone's found it. By method three, most people have found their router's username and password, and you can come back over here and type it on in. So let me go ahead and do that, and I will see you after a quick jump cut. There we go. We have now logged into our router, and when we do that, we want to go ahead and basically land on a page similar to this. Now, yours is most likely completely different to mine, and that's okay, because we have an in-depth guide right here, this video, in the description down below, of course, that will show you the most popular routers out there, from Netgear, like my router, to Linksys, to Verizon, to AT&T. All of the most popular routers that are out there are in this video, and even if your specific router isn't in that video, don't let it discourage you. Most likely, your router is very similar to other routers in that video, so be sure to go through this tutorial because it will help you tremendously on port forwarding. However, for me in port forwarding, it is actually in the advanced tab. So from here, we're going to go to advanced and then we're going to advanced again. And then finally, we are going to go to advanced. Sorry, I accidentally clicked administration. So for me, from basic, it is in advanced and then it is in advanced again. And then finally, it is going to be in port forwarding slash port triggering. Once we click on port forwarding slash port triggering, it's going to give us something like this. Yours is probably completely different though, and that's okay. For you, it may be an apps and gaming. It might be in port forwarding slash port triggering. It might be an admin. It might be an administration. It might be an advanced or like it was for me, advanced and then advanced again. It could also be in the security tab. That is very popular. And it's also called single port forwarding. Any of those will work. But overall, you are looking for port forwarding or apps and gaming. Once you do find it, let's go ahead and get our port added. To do this, we want to go ahead and click add a custom service or add a port forward or you might have a big list of text box. And if you do, go ahead and start with that first one and enter in the information. Right now, my router is loading. It's a bit slow. However, here we are on mine. For yours, it might be called service name, the first box. It might be called ID. Whatever it is, for whatever the ID or service name is, it's going to be Minecraft. It's just saying, what is this port forward? From there, 
for our protocol, it's always going to be TCP slash UDP, UDP slash TCP, or both. You want to make sure both of these protocols are selected. 99% of the time, you can do that. If for whatever reason you can't, do a port forward twice, once for TCP and once for UDP, all with the same information. However, I can, and most of you will be able to, select both in some way, whether that's doing both or TCP slash UDP. Now, for external port or anything involving the word port, P-O-R-T, port, if it involves that word at all, what we want to do is enter in 25565. 25565 is the port you want to use, whether it's for external port, internal port, outside port, inside port, port 1, port 2, doesn't matter what it is. For anything involving the word port, you want to put in 25565. Same thing here, we want to make sure 25565 is entered in because it asked for the internal port. Now, for the internal IP address, IPv4 address, anything like that, that is going to be the IPv4 address we found earlier. So in my case, that's 192.168.1.67. For you, it could be something completely different and that's okay because it's going to be different for you most likely. However, if you can't select like entering an IP like I did, you're gonna select it from a list like this. And if we do look over here, we will be able to find the IP right here it is for me the desktop right here is what I'm on we could select it from there as well either way works perfectly fine either select the device that your computer is on or like that your server is on from the list or enter in the IP address finally we can go ahead and click apply here and it will save the port forward here it is in a more basic and somewhat easier to understand format so as you can see the service name anything involving the word port and the IP address the only thing missing here is the protocol and that's always going to be both now though we need to get our public IP address because that is what our server is going to be joined on by our friends and family and things like that. To do that, we have a link in the description down below, of course, called What's My IP, and that takes you to our website where it's going to feed back your IP address, but it's also going to feed back other information you don't want, like, you know, your country, region, city, latitude, longitude. That's perfectly fine. Every single website you visit does get that information, but you have to ask, do you want every single person joining your server to get that information? And if not, that's why Apex Minecraft hosting does exist because you can start a server without any worries. Also, doesn't matter about hardware at Apex, they take care of all of that as well. And you can host a private server if you want. Now let's just go ahead and copy our IP address from our website. We can then go ahead and minimize our browser. And what we wanna do is go ahead and get everything running. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna get the server up and running. Every time you wanna start your server, by the way, just double click on the run.bat file. And then I'm gonna get my Minecraft up and running. And then finally, this server will be set up, your friends can join it, and you can have fun with Better Minecraft, the mod pack. So we now have our server up over here on the left and Better Minecraft on the right. We can go into multiplayer. We're gonna delete this server. As you can see, it's still joinable, but the IP here is localhost. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this server. What we then wanna do is go ahead and click add server again. We'll call this whatever we want, but play.breakdowncraft.com is pretty good as well. That's our Minecraft Java Edition server, 1.17, 1.18 soon, grief protected survival. We've pasted in the server address there though as our public IP. Just as on the website, you can only see those last two digits, 5.5 five is what they are and then we go ahead and click done when we go ahead and refresh the server will be reachable it's that simple and that easy and if it isn't well then just double click on it because it's going to join right in now in some cases you won't be able to join the server via your public ip address and that's perfectly normal you can always join via local host your friends though will always have to join via the public ip and if for whatever reason they can't i will show you some options and things you might be able to do to fix that but as you can see we are in the server the exact same one we were just in looking good nevertheless i do want to mention if you do have any issues with your friends joining you can go ahead and go through this tutorial most likely by the way all these i'm about to go through are in the description most likely the issue is with your firewall and it's not allowing the uh, Java, like Java through and not allowing your friends to join because of that. This is our in-depth guide on that. We also have a dedicated video on how to fix a server in the description down below. You can find that, of course, in the description down below. The dog's freaking out a little bit. He's a, I don't know what's uh he saw something. So anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. Enjoy your better Minecraft server. My name is Nick. Let's go help the dog. Hasn't seen someone break into the house, so I think we're okay. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.